The iconic fish on the Norwegian Escape is, of course, the sailfish. The sailfish is the key sport fishing species for South Florida, especially from the Miami area. With that fish, with its sail up and, and spread, it's a lot of color and a lot of action, which is what I wanted to, to fill that big space on the bow with. So it's really the perfect species to go there. And as you come aft, we see other species like stingrays and uh, turtles and frigate birds and go down to the stern. You've got a, a variety of coral reef species, which are obviously very important in the Caribbean. And in the middle is the largest of all the sharks, which is the whale shark, an animal that I love to swim with and dive with. It's a, it's a plankton eater. It's not one of those big ferocious sharks. People really identify whale sharks with, with calmness and tranquility. I did a whole variety of different sketches of what I would imagine would be A, suitable and B, would fit, you know, along the hull. And it was a, a very long process for us to come down to what you now see on the boat. When you're doing hand painting or, or spray painting, to get the perspective is obviously the challenge. So for the shipyard, what they had to do was project the images from the computer onto the hull and then draw them by hand. And then they actually taped the lines for each individual color change and then roller painted it. And I helped them do a little bit. You pull off the tape, so you've got a, a nice clean line and on you go. And of course, it's a, it's a meticulous, painstaking process. It was intricate in detail. It took them a long time to do. The coolest part about the whole thing was that Norwegian did a time lapse of that whole process. And you can see the progress in a millisecond of, of how it all took place. You know, Norwegian is, is famous for having decorated hulls, and I love the concept. I think it's, it's a wonderful use of a large space, and you can use it to tell a message, which I am. But for people driving here in Miami, like right now along uh, I-395 right here, they're gonna look across the water and see the iconic sailfish, big and bold, and they're gonna go, wow, that's really cool. But then as they look along the hull and they see other fish, they're gonna ask, well, what's Harvey trying to tell us? And what I'm trying to remind the onlooker is, about the variety of different marine life, not only here in, in South Florida, but the rest of the Caribbean. To remind people of what is beneath this beautiful, calm, glassy surface, there's a whole new realm, a new world under there of marine life that we kind of forget about. And we need to take much better care of and pay more attention to. Tourists who, who will come on this ship and, and visit the, the Caribbean islands will go to these places because of their natural beauty. They want to experience what these islands have to offer. And if they're denuded of natural beauty by, because of overfishing or overdevelopment or coastal development, people really don't want to go on holiday anymore. My first impression was, wow, the colors are so vibrant. It's just what I wanted to achieve. They, they really reflect true life colors of this animal, the sailfish. And so I was very gratified with the way it had come out. It was just the tranquility of the water, the hull and the fish.